If you're manually sketching hex bolts or polygons in Fusion 360, that's a lot of work. First up, we're gonna be talking about the polygons that are in your sketch tool. The first thing, you do have to be in a sketch. Create sketch, select a plane, go up to create, and you'll find three different polygons. We're gonna start with the first one, the circumscribed polygon. And this one starts with a center point. So this is great when you are working from the origin. Click your origin, hover out, and you'll notice two dialog boxes. The distance or that segment length from the center point out to this midpoint, that's 75 there. And if you hit tab, this is where I could make this a seven-sided or a six-sided for our polygon. So we can do these and then it lets me rotate to place this where it should go in space. I click and now it's ready to go. When I move this around, it looks like I didn't quite connect it to the origin. I missed that when I was trying to place it. Now that that's placed, it just needs the orientation since this isn't connected to anything. If I were to select this line and make it flat or horizontal, it's now fully defined. Now let's look at the next one. This one's extremely similar where you have a center point in space, you select it, how many sides would you like? But instead of a midpoint of the segment itself, we're actually placing this corner. So you can see that instead of placing it to that flat edge, it'll actually place it to a point. So just it makes the end placement just slightly different and hopefully a little bit easier depending on what you want. So when you need to place the center point and you'd like to have the endpoint orientation and control, that's a good use for this polygon. And now for the final polygon, what I'd like to do is start a sketch on this face of this block. And I'm going to go to create, we're sketching here. We'll go to create and choose edge polygon. Now, this one's different. It lets you place a flat edge so that you can kind of fit things to place. So if I were to select this flat edge and drag, you can see I'm dragging down 70 millimeters. I click again, it places a polygon with the number of sides that you want. You can change this to edit to the count you want, but it's placing this edge to fit. And you can see I can even hover the orientation to which side of the edge do I want to map to. Pretty cool. So I'm able to map this right to an edge or fit it right to an edge. We haven't specified the overall distance yet. So in this case, it looks like I should be able to line up these edges. And so it fits from side to side perfectly. And this is great for when you want to map to a flat edge or within, you know, fit it to a certain space. And of course, if you hit S for search, you can type in polygon or part of that, and you'll see the three different sketch style of polygons here, or you can find it in your create menu. So now we've covered all three polygons. The circumscribed is great when you want to place the center and control a flat edge. This one's great when you want to control the center, but place it to a corner. And like we saw, this is where you can align one flat edge against some other entity. Thanks for watching. We're working our way through all the different Fusion 360 commands. Here's the playlist with all of those available right here. I'll see you guys in the next video.